what's going on everybody it's your boy justin norman and this is waveform explored i want to show you how to do vocal comping in traction waveform 13 this is a free version but this will also work for the pro version as well okay as you can see i have this project up and this is what i'm doing i have my lead box right here and i have it set to input one if you're not sure how to do that uh, you can right click on it, go to input one. This is for me. So most interfaces that you use should be using input one, input two, depending on where you plugged up. Unless you have a mixer that you're using and you have multiple tracks and multiple channels, then you might want to switch it around. All right, make sure you have you set to record. On here, on this track, I'm using the CLA vocals for right now. And I also have auto-tune access, which I just installed it took me forever to figure out how to use it well not how to use it but just how to find it so um i'll show that quick to you in case you don't know and actually i have a video that i just recorded that'll probably explain that to you but anyway stay tuned for that now right now you're hearing my monitoring i don't need to have that on but it's good to have if you want to hear your effects so I might keep it on for right now. All right. If I don't want it on, I can just turn it off and then you will just hear the straight mic that's coming from my zoom. All right. But I'll keep, keep it, it on, on for now. now. All right. And I had this set on loop. So what I did is I moved my points from here to here. And then I have it set at bar five. Okay. And let's record. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. You're going to see a plus sign that's right here at the bottom. And we need to do is click that plus sign. And then it's going to ask you do you want to delete unused tracks? Un <laughs> Do you want to delete unused takes? Right now I only have two takes, so I'm not worried about deleting anything. Do I want to show takes or unpack to new tracks? Now unpack to new tracks is if you want to take all your takes and put them on separate tracks, but I'm not going to worry about doing that. I just want to show takes. All right. And let's expand this a little bit. If I click on each one, it'll play it. So let's go back We can turn this record button off. Uh, right now it's set to play track one. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. Okay, if I want to go listen to track two, then I can do that. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. Okay, so I think I rushed this second track a little bit, but let me listen to the first one again. Okay, and sometimes it is a little late coming in, so whenever you click on it, give it a little moment. Oh, I like that. So that part is perfect. So what I'm going to do, check off. I'm going to click up here again. This is the main track, the comm track. And then I'm going to, you'll see a plus sign. Once you see the plus sign, you're just going to drag over it. I'm going to drag over that part. And then I'll have that first part. And then let me hear if I like the second part. Let's go back here. I guess I was wrong. Okay. And let's hear this one. I told my mama that I That's the first part right here. I guess I was wrong. Okay, I liked it. I guess I was wrong here. I'm going to um, drag this over like that. And then let's hear that. Let's hear the whole thing. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. Perfect. I love it just like that. And that's the first part of my verse. Now I can go to that plus sign again. I can hide the takes again, or I can unpack it to new tracks if I want to, or I can flatten it. Flatten is just going to get rid of all of these takes and just combine it into one take or one track, which is what I have right now. But for the now, I'm, I don't have to do all of that. Why do all of that? Just I'm just going to say hide takes and then we're just going to see that one track. Sometimes I know, I don't know how it is on waveform, but I know in like in Cakewalk, when you comp 
and then you flatten the comp for some reason you're not allowed to really edit it anymore after that like it's kind of hard to deal with applying effects to it directly so um i always just like to leave it as is and not flatten the comp just hide the other takes so let's hear it now i told my mama said i never fall in love again i guess i was wrong okay and that's cool uh let me hear it soloed i told my mama said i never fall in love again i guess i was wrong Okay, I don't really need no reverb though, but uh, I told my mama that I never fall in love again. This is the auto tune access, and this is what I'm using now. Right now, I have it set to the key of D minor, which is what we're in, and I have my medium retune speed, and then I have my humanized to minimum. And I mean, it's a decent sound, it's not really activating so quick where it has that kind of robotic sound. This is what it sounds with it being off. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. This is what it on. Turn the power button on up here. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. Now, one thing I will say is that while I'm recording this, um, my kids are here so my son is like playing a video game and you might even hear that in the background but it's okay because there's another plugin that i can add that will kind of help if i'm hearing noise like that and right now i can't really tell if i'm hearing it or not maybe you can uh but i can also add this waves plugin that's called clarity or i can do a gate uh, but if you have any wave plugins if you like wave or or any type of gate would help but this one is really good because i use it quite a bit the clarity vx uh mono i think this is the mono is the one i need and then i'm gonna add that to it and let's hear this soloed and i'm gonna turn um i'm gonna bypass these other plugins for now i keep the auto tune on but you'll be able to hear i told my mama that i never fall in love again I guess I was wrong. Okay. I told my mama that I never And what it does, it just like automatically gets rid of all of that background noise. Now if you put it up too much, um, you might start to cut off some of your um sibilance or clarity. Uh even though this is clarity, but I told my it just depends. Some you don't really need much, but uh and then I can add this back on. I think it's an easier way to do this. Right click enable. There we go. Just right click and press enable. I told my mama that I never and you can see that it kind of just jumped in like kind of late. Well, that's because yeah, it takes a little while for the effect to process. Yeah, I think I said I that right. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. Okay. Anytime that you use a lot of effects, make sure that you always go back. I like to do this, but this is just me. I will go back and I will adjust my audio buffer size to a higher rate. Um, if you're using this particular zoom device, for some reason you can't click on it right here. So you will have to go to control panel and change it here. But anytime you're dealing with a lot of effects, switch it up to a higher, um, yeah, higher rate. So that way it'll help. Uh, lower the memory usage so that way you'll have more freedom to add all these different effects because sometimes effects use a lot of memory and CPU. I told my mama that I never fall in love again. I guess I was wrong. Okay, and that's it, you all. Uh, the traction waveform. Hey, this is just a norm. I have another channel called Just a Norm. And I'm gonna have a few channels, but if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you, you subscribe to this channel. I'm growing. I'm almost at 250 subscribers, or maybe I'm at 250. I don't know. I'm, I haven't looked at it for real today, but thank you. Take care. And if you have questions, please leave a comment below.